What's going on everybody? It's Ray Jr. coming live from El Paso. I'm about to head into side uh, this comic store, a uh, very good local LCS called All Star Comics. As you can see, right there, uh, the owner named Brad, used to be in the military, 13 Bravo, same MOS as me. So like I said, I'm about to make a big purchase today. So go ahead and go inside and uh, see what's going on. Okay everybody, I'm inside All Star Comics. As you can see, nice little wall right here. Display case. I would like to get me a display case like this. Look at the Dungeons and Dragon books up there on the wall. And then here we go with a lot of, he's got a lot of great books. Is it Doctor Strange? Uh, Amazing Spider Man 194. Uh, looks like Amazing Spider-Man 101. We got Weird Science. I want to say that's number 22. And you got some Batman. You got some Golden Age Batmans. Graded. So I'm at the I'm at to take a look at uh, a couple of those as well. Sorry for the glare. Let me see if I can move it here. Okay. You got some books signed by Stan. Ninja Turtle books. We got the Thanos Quest 9.8 Sensation Comics number 33. So all in all, this former army guy, 13 Bravo, who has got a pretty good store here. Uh, there's a stack of Batman right there. As you can all guess, I've already been through that stack. I think there's a couple more that I need to get out of there. It's Daredevil. And then we have down here Dracula. We got some Thors right there. Some more Thors, uh, Strange Tales, Supergirl, and all that. And then behind the display case. Some more good books down here. And then right here, the boxes. Of course, you can thumb through to find back issues. T-shirts. Uh, Brad's been in business for 30 years. Established 1986, so he's been doing this a long time. Over here, come to another display case with some some good books. Amazing Spider-Man number 300. Got the Frank Miller 300 number one. Amazing Spider-Man number seven. That's, like I said, the glare. Action Comics number 52. It's a Golden Age book. There we go, right there. This is where I bought my blade. Uh, well, not blade, but Tomb of Dracula number 10 from Raw. So he has a 8.0 and a 9.4. Got a Hulk 180. And then Amazing Spider Man number 19. I'm going to go over to the back side and. Star Wars number 1. Teen Titans number one. Fantastic Four number 50. Uh, Hawkman number one. 
people to view statues. And then just the, the wall. There's Chucky. Chucky and his bride, Tiffany. Mr. Miracle number one. Kung Fu Master number 16. Dreaded Mr. Annual number one. We talked to the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Brad. I'm pretty sure the fans want to know, or the people out there, how did you get started, Brad? How did I get started? Well, yes. I opened the shop up in 1986. I was a uh, prior military here in El Paso. I was stationed at Fort Bliss. Uh, I started going to school for a couple of years. Tell me your MOS. <laughs> 13 Bravo. Yeah, baby, 13 Bravo. That's why we hit it off. <laughs> but um, I was about to get out of the military, met my girlfriend, decided to stay in El Paso. Uh, started going to school for a couple of years. And then I had an opportunity to open up one of the first comic book shops in El Paso. Oh, nice. And uh, we have been here for 30 years. We're right outside the main gate of Fort Bliss. So business is really good. I'm very fortunate, very lucky. I love what I do. And I love uh, being next to Fort Bliss, the military. Alrighty. Well, like I said, I've been walking around and it just your store is just so organized compared to the other three that I've been to so far. I still got four more to go, but uh, my wife likes this store. You know, she has no problem coming in here. You know, just, I guess, that military tedious being, uh, you know, uh, having your stuff dressed right dress. Maybe that paid off, that but. Just did. That just worked out. <laughs> we, try to we have 30 years. We move things around. We try to organize the shop a little bit. I have great employees, but uh, we always try to change things around, make it look nice, organized, clean. And uh, we, we travel a lot. We buy, you know, try to change the product up. We get new stuff in every week. But I think the key for us is we travel. We go to Phoenix. We go to San Diego. Just got back from San Diego Con. Speaking of speaking of that, tell everybody one of your big sales at San Diego Comic Con. I can't disclose that. I'm not well, not, well, I'm not the. the I'm just <laughs> I, uh, I sold an Amazing Fantasy 15 uh, 3.0 uh, for thirteen thousand dollars. And I sold that. I met a guy on eBay. We made a deal to meet in San Diego. He lives in San Diego. So we met out there, and uh, he, that was one of my largest purchases, I uh, mean, sales that I've ever made. Until nice. I met Ray. So we're going <laughs> to try to top that. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and you, had, you brought in the other day, you showed me a lot of your, your graded books, some, some, some key issues. Uh, I saw a Ma Amazing Fantasy 15 number uh, 5.0. Uh, you already have a price for that, or well, are you negotiating, the reason, or the reason I sold the uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 3.0 is because I was lucky enough to pick up a 5.0. So I decided I, I didn't really need to, so I decided to sell that one. The 5.0 market value probably was like twenty-five thousand. You know, in that in that price range. Okay. So that's that's on the market if somebody wants it. So you hear that, call. folks? Twenty five k. If you want it. The book is very nice. It's uh, there's no marble chipping on it. Yes, I saw it. It's, it's pretty awesome. nice. It's a I've... really nice five zero copy. And there's another little secret that, that if you know about CGC, that you can probably get this book pressed. And probably bump it up. I would maybe a half a grade. A half a five point five would bring. Another 5K? Yeah. It's right now. So this might be a good investment for that. Okay, well, we both know what I'm here for, so. You want to buy the Maze of Fantasy 15, right? Well, uh, <laughs> <Let me nah. laughs> All righty. So while he's out getting that, I'm going to still walk around the store. Hulk statue. Well, not statue, but. A That's a limited edition. Hulk, life size, uh, Marvel made 200 of those, and they were at some of the top uh, movie theaters in the United States. 
So there's only 200 of these. So that must and have went for a pretty penny, huh? They were on eBay when they first came out for five, six thousand dollars. These came out maybe when the Hulk movie came out, maybe like eight, ten years ago. Yeah. And I have a friend who's a general manager of a theater in Phoenix, and he told me about it. So I was uh, very fortunate to get that uh, workshop. Oh, okay, that's very nice. So, what do you got there in your hand? What Ray has come for? This is a Journey in the Mystery, eighty-three. White pages. Uh, I think it's a beautiful copy. I think at 4.5, uh, it's a nice solid grade. I think they could have maybe threw a five on it if they wanted to. But uh, so white pages, first appearance of Thor. It's a clean book. There's no chipping. Spine looks pretty nice for the grade. So you recommend maybe sitting in and getting it pressed? Well, I would recommend any book to get pressed. Exactly. Especially at that, uh, at that value. But uh, I met Ray uh, about a week ago. Uh, I guess he came in the shop when I was I was in San Diego con at the San Diego con about a month ago, a couple, two or three weeks ago, and he came in. So we uh, he came back last week. I showed him this book, and um, he was thinking about picking it up. Surprised me today. Couldn't <laughs> wait. I know he couldn't sleep all week. <laughs> Tossed and turned. The wife gave him the go ahead. I love his wife. I haven't met her, but she's pretty cool. So. Um, I'm sure it's going to go to a good home. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this, take care of this business. Take care of it. Doing cash or credit? Credit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know what you said about the, the credit and all that, but she told me to go Cash ahead and deal, get it. You know, try to give you a little bit off, try to save a little bit. So if you want to know the price for this, you have to message me. <laughs> but uh, glad to have this. Uh, everybody knows I'm a big Thor fan, so I think now since I will have this book, the rest of the issues will fall into place, and Brad has some of those, so uh, I might not be done today. <laughs> to maybe pick up a couple, you know, a couple of the, you know, books that he has that I know I need. But there it is. You debit or credit? I'm sorry. Uh, credit. You do credit on this? Yeah. So there it is, and uh, I'm happy with, with it. All right, everybody. It's uh, Ray Jr. I just left uh, All Star Comics. I feel very uh, happy with uh, the, the purchases I made today. Uh, yeah, I said purchases because I, I got a, a few more books to go with. Um, my journey to mystery collection uh, also picked up uh, issue 124 this is a nice clean copy right here nice one got Hercules on the front got 125 the last issue of journey in the mystery before it became the mighty Thor title and then issue 106 mr. Hyde and the Cobra So, closing the gaps on uh, my journey to mystery, and then last but not least, like I said, uh, picking up picked up this bad boy today. I am so ecstatic, ecstatic, and like uh, Brad was saying, uh, I might even send it in, maybe to get it pressed, maybe to bump that sucker up. Uh, so, just to see what I can get the, you know, if I can get a a. a a 5.0 out of it or maybe a 5.5 it, it all depends uh, it doesn't look too bad like I said there's the creases right there man just just owning this book that is one of the holy grails not as expensive as like Amazing Fantasy 15 because you know Spider-Man is more of a popular character than uh, Thor but Thor is popular to me <laughs> he is popular to me so that's all that really matters man it, it's up there with uh, you know uh, the grails of uh, the the first appearances of uh, a lot of these uh, superheroes not just Marvel but DC as well so uh, if you like the video go ahead and uh, do what you do go ahead and click like comment and uh, I'll get back with you on, on the comments so till next time uh, I'm out <laughs>